Good day and welcome to this tutorial class. My name is Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, so solving the problem on the screen, we are going to be applying the principle of curved tangency. And for this particular problem, we will be increasing the scale by 2. That is, we are using a scale of what? 2 ratio 1. 2 ratio 1. Alright, so the very first thing I'm going to do right here is to produce a horizontal line thing like this okay after that horizontal line i'm going to provide a vertical line to it in this manner like this okay like this so after doing that what is the next procedure what is the next procedure okay the next procedure will be i'm going to pick my compass so that distance of 25 will become what's 50 now okay so picking 25 right here standing at this junction i strike an arc right here I strike an arc right there. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to project thin, thin horizontal line. Yeah, on those two arcs I projected here. First one right here and second one right here. Okay, after doing that, the radius for that area is actually 2.5, but since we are increasing it by 2, I'm going to measure radius of what? Radius of 5. Okay, with radius 5 standing right here. Okay, I would. I draw my arc, all right. I draw my arc with radius five also standing right here. I would, I draw my arc. I draw my arc. Okay. Okay. So still looking at the problem on the screen. So I'm having a mark of thirty-one downward. So that mark of thirty-one times two will be what? Uh, will be sixty-two. So picking my compass, I measure that mark of what? 62 which is this okay uh need to be careful this mark of 62 right here but before me picking another mark of 62 i need to draw this area tangentially to this first of all and this area tangentially towards this also so with the mark 62 on my compass i'm going to stand right here okay i'm going to what mark an arc here okay then from that center i'm going to mark an arc of what uh 40 also so picking my compass, measuring 40, then from this junction, I what? I strike an arc right there, which is 40. Then after that, I have a distance of what? 10, which is going to be what? 20. Okay, with 20 standing on that mark of 40, I mark another one, which is what? 10. So all of these points right there as they were now. So the next thing is I'm going to pick my compass and measure uh, radius. Towards my right hand side, I'm having radius 22. 22 times 2, that's what? 44. So with radius 44 on my compass standing right here, okay, I'm going to draw this thin, thin, okay, yeah, I'm going to draw it faintly, faintly. So at this midpoint here, I'm going to project it what? horizontally, this area horizontally, okay, yeah, this mark also horizontally and this mark also horizontally, all right. So what is the next procedure now? What is the next procedure? So let's uh, finish this area at the top. First of all, we have an arc of what? Radius 10 and what? Radius 10. So this arc of radius 10 and this, that's an external arc. And that's going to go to radius 20 like that because we are multiplying it by what? By 2. So 20 plus 44. Radius 20 plus radius 40, 44. That's, that's what? Radius 64. With my compass measure radius 64, stand right here. I strike an arc here. I strike another arc here. Okay. Then towards the top here, we have arc of what? Radius 5. Radius 5 plus 20 is what? 25. Pick my compass. Measure radius 25. Stand right here. I strike an arc. Then stand right here. I what? I strike another arc. Then I'm going to pick arc of radius what? Radius 20. Which is this? With radius 20 standing right here, I what? I draw this. I'm drawing it tick. Once and for all, tick. Once and for all. So likewise, standing here with radius 20. So with radius 20 also, I come right here, then I what? I draw. I make it what? Tick once and for all. Make it tick once and for all. Okay, then towards the bottom part here. Okay, at this extreme end, I'm having an arc of radius 12. 12 times 2 is what? 24. With radius 24 standing right here. With radius 24, I what? I draw this. I'm going to make it 10, first of all. Okay, 10, first of all. That's it. So, 
then after that so i'm having an arc of radius 60 joining this and this radius 60 and this arc of radius 60 on this and this it is actually an, an internal arc okay so that radius 60 is what like that that's 120 okay okay the radius of this arc here is 24 why the arc that joined this to this is radius what 120 24 minus 120 is what 96 so measuring radius 96 of my compass standing right here i'm going to what draw this arc right here like this then what draw this arc right here like this as you can see okay so this arc is radius what 44 okay 44 minus 120 44 minus 120 is 76 okay with my compass i measure radius 76 which is this which is radius 76 i see it right here i would i strike this arc and i strike this arc so that is what's corresponding arc so so the next thing is to what is to measure my radius what radius 120 as it is so with my radius 120 i need to adjust my pencil okay so picking a radius 120 which is year to year as you can see radius 120 standing right here okay yeah that is it right here standing right here i would I draw this down here as you can see on the screen I draw this down here with my own 20 so with my own 20 also coming right here I'm going to what I'm going to join this here as you can see on the screen joining this here okay so after that has been done now uh, let me take in those areas out first of all before I proceed okay so sitting right here comfortable radius here which is this and draw Okay. So the area is set like that. Okay. So then I'm going to correct this place. It seems my compass is faulty. So just ensure you are careful when tracing it out. Okay. So this area like this and this area like this. So it remains the one at the center right there. Okay. So towards this area, I'm having an arc of radius what five. Five times two is what ten. So with my compass, I need to adjust it very well. radius ten, which is this with radius ten, which is that sitting right here. I would I draw this okay with radius ten ten line. Okay, right here I'm having diameter at twenty-eight, which will be radius what radius twenty-eight now. So with radius twenty-eight, which is this sitting right here, I would I draw this faintly first okay joining together is arc of radius what 32 32 times 2 is what 64 so 64 minus 10 is what that's 54 it's radius 54 radius 54 standing right here i would i draw first arc like that i draw second arc like this okay so 64 minus 28 is going to 64 minus 28 is going to be 36 so with radius 36 okay sitting here i would i draw this i draw this so i have my intersection and i'm going to measure radius so with radius 64 radius 64 with radius 64 now sitting right here i have this joint here okay i have that joint here with radius 64 sitting right here also i have this joint here i have this joint here so i can now pick my compass then come back here and what taking this one out okay taking it out oh my compass is shaking please be careful with your compass all right be careful with your compass so my compass actually shake it here so that is the solution to the problem on the screen by using the principle of what curved tangency then i increase the scale towards two ratio one so kindly ensure you subscribe to our youtube channel at my and also Refire this video to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.